This painting by Rory McEwen is a very well-known and famous one. It's of the Crown Imperial and it's a fritillary, um, curiously smelling fritillary, very beautiful indeed. He painted this um, early on in his plant studies and it's one of the ones that his wife Ramona McEwen particularly liked and when she discovered I had it she was very pleased uh, that she tracked it down and she kept a very good record of all his paintings. He's a very special artist. I never knew him. He died just before I started collecting. But he had a wonderful sense of placing his, pa his painting within the canvas, or not even canvas. It was usually vellum. He usually worked on vellum. I got this in 1995. Uh, fairly soon after I'd started collecting and I'd been on the lookout for his work ever since I started studying what I think thought was the important artists in the contemporary scene. He said he felt uh, that he wanted to be a contemporary artist not somebody uh, stuck in the past and I think that's true but he also had a quality a exceptional quality of, of painting um, which hankered back to the past in some ways I remember looking through a whole lot of uh, paintings by Eret um, of tulips and I have one I have a tulip by Rory McEwen and it's particularly reminiscent. Uh, I had a sort of recognition when I saw the error. Anyway, he does have a very special place in contemporary botanical art. Um, uh, he influenced a lot of people um, and he had a big exp exhibition uh, shortly before he died um, where he, he showed a whole range of works and we attempted at Kew to replicate this in a way um, and so uh, I although I never saw his own exhibition I was very much involved with the exhibition at Q. I wanted to show you the book that we created at Q in the Shirley Sherwood Gallery, or rather for the Shirley Sherwood Gallery, which describes the range of his painting I wrote the last chapter, which is showing uh, paintings which have been influenced by Rory McEwen. His legacy, I call it, and lasting influence. The, the, there are a really large number of people who were influenced by his work when I started. Um, so you'd have Pandora Sellers, um, Coral Guest, um, Bridget Edwards, um, some Americans. Anyway, uh, there's a lot. Um, and I show Paul Jones, um, Annie Farah, Mariko Mai. Um, Jillian Barlow, I 
Dumb Pandro, Carl Guest, Graham Rust, Kate Nestler, Jenny Brazier, Susanna Blackshill, Lindsay McGarity, many people, many artists who were influenced and perhaps triggered to become botanical painters just because, at the start anyway, they were inspired by Rory McEwen. <laughs>